More mandatory evacuations ordered for neighborhoods in Houston. Engineers now believe two reservoirs in the area will release water for at least the next 10 days. Those concerns come as authorities are now keeping a very close eye on a chemical plant. That chemical plant has already triggered some explosions. Jay Gray is in Houston tonight with the very latest. The Sunday in the strike zone. Many turning to a higher power in the wake of Harvey. Just to bond together, get a source of strength and renewal. This Houston church meeting outside on a national day of prayer. Because inside is still soaked. Thousands are now starting to clear out and clean up what they can. You have to take one day at a time. You save what you can't save. Rest. You can get it back later. Across the region, streets like this one lined with the remnants of what were families' lives before the storm. And just like going through all the wreckage and garbage and everything, you're like, wow, like I remember this picture, I remember this time, I remember this blanket. It's all gone, you know, it's just can't get it back. Many here are giving back. The devastation is incredible, but the inspiration of the people is even more incredible. Houston Texans defensive end J.J. Watt has raised more than $18 million for Harvey Relief and today began to deliver much needed food, water and supplies to survivors. This is our city, uh, so we want to make sure that we're there for them and we show them how much we care and how much we appreciate them. So days like today are, are really what it's all about. Help and hope this city will need through a long and difficult recovery. Jay Gray, Local 4.